Hi, this is Mark from eReplacementParts.com. You know, a common mistake that uh, many people make when they replace a chain on their chainsaw is they will remove the sprocket cover with the brake still engaged on the saw. And today we're going to show you what to do if you accidentally happen to make that mistake and how to fix it. To start with, I'm going to show you what happens when you remove the sprocket cover with the brake engaged. So I'm going to lock this, the uh, brake on the saw. Again, this isn't what you normally want to do. This would be what happened if you accidentally did it wrong. So with the brake locked, I'll remove the nuts just as if I was replacing the chain. With those nuts removed, now I can remove this sprocket cover. Now the first indication that something may not be going right is when I try to remove this sprocket cover, it is not going to want to come off easily. It's going to take some prying. I'm really going to have to work at it to get this off of the saw. So it's difficult to do, but it can be removed while it is locked. Just like that. Now the problem that arises is this is what unlocks the brake. This is the brake itself built into the sprocket cover. So now that it's locked, I can't put it back on and I can't easily unlock it because it won't engage against the, the uh, unlock mechanism. So to fix this, what I need to do is first remove the chain and the bar from the saw. And with those two pieces removed, it'll allow me to press the side plate on or the uh, sprocket cover on far enough to unlock it. Now what I'm trying to do here is get the mechanism that actually unlocks the brake back together as it would be uh, if everything was installed properly. So I'm going to lay this on its side, line those little dog ears inside that brake mechanism up, and then press down on it very, very hard to, to press or engage those two dogs together. And with it pressed together, now I can try to unlock it with the uh, brake unlock just like that. That unlocked it. And as you can see, the side cover now fits on easily, just as it should.